Yeah, my wonderful people. I be at come again. No, oh, hey, today it's going to be fire for fire, back to back. My then I know here we day, so no time to take time. And there's no dull moment. As long as uh, this media uh, uh, work of a thing is concerned, no, oh, my brother, we always at the at the top at the top of the game. Well, I'm uh, gonna hear waiting to happen. No, oh, Abuja court uh, to hear Mazi Nam the Kano's one billion naira suit against the Fulani control government of Nigeria and the DSS on the March 4th. And I see how they are prolonging the case of Mazin Nam Kano. It will take another two years again for Mazin Nam Kano to get to the Supreme Court. And maybe by then, they will have bounce him again back to ordinary lower court. <laughs> that is a country without law for you. A country without no human rights. A country where the poor don't have human rights. It's only the rich that have human rights. Anyway, my people, make on hear this Obonga news. Why can't I come for now? And I, but for that, make on remember say that uh, Tunumbu's uh, girlfriend, where his name be better Edu, that Calabar man. I don't know which style that uh, this girl uh, give to Oga Tunumbu. That made him go appoint him for the Minister of uh, of uh, Humanitarian Affairs. Uh, that one, uh, Tunumbu girlfriend, and uh, on her name, and I still remember that Ohane Nyewe saying go to uh, United Nations. Till now we are still waiting. Somebody who can't even make a complete statement without not uh, know any gaff is the Minister of uh, Human Affairs or whatever they call they call uh, they call her. We are still waiting for her. All of this is I don't know the kind of style where they give uh, this uh, uh, old man where they make turn his head. Now waiting to happen now. Trump don't suspend the Minister Edu over alleged. 585.189 million naira scandal, almost a billion naira. Nine person, one pocket, say you want to do humanitarian affairs. If you are born in channel local, my people, I beg make a like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed further hearing for March 4 in a fresh 1 billion naira suit to five by the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. I pobo maze nam de cano against the Fulani government and three others. The others are the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, the Department of State Service, DSS, and its Director General will be Yusuf Bichi. Justice James Omoto show rescheduled hearing in the fundamental rights enforcement suit on Monday owing to the absence of the applicant's lawyer. At the mention of the case, no lawyer announced appearance for the applicant, while the respondents were represented by two lawyers, Enoch Simon for the Fulani government and the AGF, and I a war for the DSS. What happens to Martin Nam Decano's lawyers? Make on a CEO, they don't start to disappoint Martin Nam Decano. Simon informed the court uh, that uh, his clients were only served with the hearing notice and have not been served with the suits originating processes. According to him, he said he came to court out of respect for the court. Awo, who spoke in similar manner, said we were not served as well. Upon listening to the lawyers, Justice Omoto Show adjourned in March 4 for hearing and ordered that a hearing notice be issued and served on the applicant. In the suit, Mark FHC slash ABJ slash CS. 16th of the 2023, filed for Kano by his lawyer, a lawyer, Ejimako, he is seeking a declaration that the respondents act of forcible seizure and the photocopying of confidential legal documents pertaining to the facilitating the preparation of his defense, where, which uh, were brought to him at the respondents' uh, detention facility by his lawyers, amounted to denial of his rights to be defended by legal practitioners of his own choice. Other reliefs being sought include a declaration that the respondent act of refusing or preventing his counsel from taking notes of details of counsel's professional discussions and, con and the consultations with him at the DSS detention. With the, uh, with the said discussions and the consultations relating to preparations of his defense amounted to denial of his right to be given adequate facilities for the preparation of his defense by the legal practitioners of his own choice. A declaration that the respondent act of a, a, okay, his droppings on his confidential consultations and conversations with his lawyers on matters relating to preparations of his defense during his uh, 
during uh, okay during the lawyers visitations amounted to denial of applicants rights to be given adequate facilities for the preparation of his defense and to be defended by legal practitioners at his own choice or of his own choice an order of injunction retraining and prohibiting the respondent from their act of refusing or preventing the applicant's counsel from taking notes of details of counsel's professional discussions and consultations with applicants during the counsel's discussion with applicant at the premises of respondent detention facility, which is the DSS office. An order of injunction restraining and prohibiting the respondent from their act of uh, is dropping or ear droppings on the applicant's confidential consultations conversations with his lawyers on matters relating to preparation of applicant defense during the lawyer's visitation with applicant at the detention facility. An order compiling the respondent to issue an official letter of apology to him for the infringement of his fundamental right to fair hearing. An order mandating the respondent to jointly and uh, severally pay the sum of 1 billion naira as damages for the mental, emotional, psychological, and other damages he suffered as a result of his rights breach. Make on a see how the Mazen Namde Kano's elite counsels, lawyers, uh, both Richard and Major and both Lido special counsel, no one was seen at the court yesterday to defend Mazen Namde Kano on the suit them themselves filed against the Fulani control government of Nigeria and also against the DSS and also their director general, which is uh, Yusuf uh, Bichi. My people, we're going to see how these people want on the case of Mazin Nam Dekano upside down. Well, in another development, Tunumbu does suspend the Minister of uh, Humanitarian Affairs, where he named be Beta Edu, Abi Edu, Edu, Edu. <laughs> Bola made Tunumbu has suspended the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Dr. Beta Edu, with immediate effect. Record that the presidency has said the appropriate authorities are investigating the financial illegality involving the transfer of 585.189 million naira into a private account by the said minister. The president, a special advisor on information and strategy by Ononoga, said the appropriation act action will be taken after the investigation is completed. What investigation again are you looking for? Okay, probably looking for those people that is involved in it. Okute Daily News report that about 585.189 million naira meant for the variable persons in Awaibon, Cross River, Ogun, and Lagos State were reportedly diverted into a private account. In a document signed by Edu and directed to the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, the Minister directed the disbursement of 585.189 M Naira into one Bridget Mojisola Oni Yellow's private account. That is a Yoruba man. Sorry, Yoruba woman. A statement from the President on Monday, signed by Chief Ajuri Ngelele, special advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, said the suspension was in line with the Tunumbu's avowed commitment to uphold the highest standards of integrity, transparency, and accountability in the management of the Commonwealth of Nigerians. But 10 billion, sorry, 10 trillion naira being borrowed under six months. Nobody can account what is being used for. But you people are agitating for or advocating for accountability and transparency. Useless government. The statement said, the president further directed the executive chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ELCC, to conduct a thorough investigation into all aspects of the financial transactions involving the Fulani, uh, okay, sorry, Federal Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, as well as one or more agencies there under. The suspended minister is hereby directed to hand over the permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, and she is further directed by the president to fully cooperate with investigation, uh, sorry, investigating authorities as they conduct their investigations, the statement added. Furthermore, the president has tasked a panel that is headed by the coordinating minister of the economy and minister of finance to, among other functions, conduct a comprehensive diagnostic on the financial architecture and framework of the social investment programs with a view to conclusively reforming the relevant institutions and programs in a determined way to eliminate all institutional fratal, uh, fatalities 
for the exclusive benefit of disadvantaged households and win back lost public confidence in the initiative. These directives of the president take immediate effect. Anyway, my people, when I hear me, I go take back break and I go hear my voice again. Like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back. My name is Siri Men. I'm Andrea Neze reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Continue enjoying this one as we prepare another bombshell coming your way. My people, on our way down, oh, Kemesiano. <laughs>